Good morning, good morning. The thing about chemical sunscreens versus mineral, without a doubt, chemical sunscreens spread on the skin so much more easily. They're not as heavy. And just like that, my skin is ready for the day. Looks pretty good. Ah, don't you feel better already? That French roast whole bean. Keep it fresh. Fresh and airtight in the airscape. My trusty kettle. All right, I'm caffeinated. I'm just gonna do my makeup out here. This is that Merit concealer. Then I just take a little of this Lumi lotion. I call this the blender. <laughs> so you guys, this morning I got the almost finalized video from my interview with Angie from Angie Hot and Flashy that we did together in partnership with Onalux. So get excited. It has come out so far really good and should be coming to a YouTube channel, aka here, near you very, very soon. So you're not gonna wanna miss it. It's really good. I'm really happy with how it came out. Before I came out here, I put a little of this super, super lock from Maybelline. This brow gel slash glue, whatever you, you want to call it. So I've been experimenting with this eyeliner from Tarte called Double Take. It's got a felt end, but it also has, it also has a pencil end. And it's really smooth to work with. I'll just show you a little bit here. This is a mascara I've been using. It's from Benefit, Bad Gal, Bad Gal Bang. I'm gonna come in with Fox for my blush. Then I've been experimenting with this lipstick that I got from MAC in the shade Chili. It's good for fall. It's a good Thanksgiving color. And just like that, my tree is up. I went ahead and put it up and I'm really glad. I'm gonna hold off on decorating it. If you missed yesterday's vlog, I decorated my mantle for Thanksgiving and I'm just loving the way it looks. But having the tree undecorated, I think still looks nice in the background as a source of hope and light. Uh, we have a few different settings here, steady white, then we have Steady Multicolored. Then we have Twinkle White, which I like the most. Cause it kind of looks like little tiny snowflakes are falling on it. Then we have Slow Fade White. Slow Fade Multicolored. Slow Color Variable. Fast Flip. That's a little hypnotic. Slow flip. And slow fade. It was easy to assemble. And what I like is that the junctions between the three parts, they interlock and plug the tree in to one to each part. So you don't have that pesky little plug that you have to manually insert that you can see through the branches, which I really like. Cause that, that was always one of the annoying things about my old tree is there were little plugs between the, between the segments. So pretty happy with this. And I love the way the branches look. Looks so pretty in the background, don't you think? 
even not decorated I mean it's not as though from this distance you can really tell that it's not like completely decorated I think it looks nice and you have the Thanksgiving back there anyway I think I'm gonna run over to JC at Penney because I haven't been there in a long time they often have good stuff in the homeware section as far as Christmas decorations I want to go and check that out then I may swing over to Walgreens and film a video I'm here at JC Penney and they have a lot of cute Christmas stuff out, including This is like the third one I've seen. It's a placemat. Martha's got a line here. Dinner plates. Tear plates. Mini fluted cake pans. Oh. <laughs> She's got a cookbook too. This is a nice one. Big selection of holiday candles. Pumpkin spice cake. Does not have any holiday skincare gift sets out yet, but they're starting to get quite a bit of Christmas jingle jangle out. I love these snow globes. Oh, wait, yeah, that's the wrong one. They're so zen. Let's just have a room full of these. It when they dive into other characters as a nutcracker like a gingerbread man doesn't even look like the nutcracker like where's the mustache you know, they have little little birds that one's sweet do any of y'all do the christmas pickle tradition you like hide the pickle on a tree and you have to go find it I'm gonna have to play music over this because it is rocking in here. Oh, I like that. Except the tree is a little junky looking. But still cute nonetheless. What are these? Pull it, reveal it, stuff it. I don't get, what are we pulling? Pull the fluff? Anyways, to play. 
holiday almonds, snickerdoodle flavor, frosted brownie. That's a new flavor. Last year they had the snickerdoodle, but I think they also had like a mint chocolate. This frosted brownie's new. It's not really a seasonal flavor, but they do have the cute holiday packaging. Crunch your hunger. It's sweet. Squishimals are everywhere, always. Then when you're looking for a squishimal, which I've never been in that situation, but if you were looking for a squishimal, there'd be nowhere to be found. That's cute. Speaking of squishy things, I get these glittery squish balls. This is good for skin picking. Squeeze on this instead of your face. I got the candy canes out. Smarties candy canes. Sweet tarts. Now this is a clever holiday candy. Take what you're already good at and just like shape shift it for the season. That's really cute. Black raspberry flavored. Comment below something you strongly desired when you were younger that you never obtained and now that you're older you could care less. I'll go first. The ability to do a back handspring. Oh my goodness. Something I used to just want so desperately to be able to do, but I couldn't ever get over the mental block of flipping backwards. It's not something I was meant to do. And now that I'm a fully grown adult who still is unable to do one, I have no desire to revisit attempting that ever again. Uh, that was something that I really wanted to be able to do. And now when I'm older, it's like, um, yeah, not knowing how to do that has not been such a big deal. Came on in with the snail mucin and also Trednoin on top of that. Last night, I used the Rogue Barrier Butter to tougher areas that are more vulnerable to friction. Tonight, I'm gonna do the same thing, only with the E45 cream. This is a nice, Cream. It's not a full-on balm. It's not as rich. It's more of a lightweight cream, but it's pretty heavy. You know, a lot of what people focus on when it comes to anti-aging skincare and, and skincare related to like being in your 40s, 50s, and beyond is all, you know, collagen focused, collagen focused, because we lose collagen, that's what contributes to wrinkles. But there are also epidermal changes. Atrophy of the epidermis, decline in the ability to retain moisture as readily. And topicals can help with that, help improve the turnover processes, which get kind of a little wonky with age, um, slowing down ex the natural exfoliation processes and ultimately leading to just rough skin texture, a dull appearance to the skin. And then, you know, with consistent, just moisturizing alone, can help improve that water content and get things a little bit back on track as far as restoring the barrier and improving epidermal turnover. Then you got retinoids, which address the epidermis. You know, everybody's always laser focused on tretinoin for collagen, but don't forget what tretinoin can do for your epidermis. It gets things moving and a shaking a lot more normally. And then the stratum corneum gets nice and compact and smooth. And it thickens the epidermis. It reverses some of that epidermal atrophy that happens with age. That carries a lot of weight above and beyond the collagen boosting properties of topical retinoids. Other things that can improve collagen production include ascorbic acid, vitamin C. The thing about vitamin C is that it has, you know, formulation issues. It's not super stable and its penetration in the skin can be quite challenging. So not to say it's impossible, but the devil is in the details. Then you have all these vitamin C derivatives, which are stable. Many of them likely get into the skin, but they have to be converted to ascorbic acid once they get in there. And it doesn't seem as though they really do that. So you don't likely get the collagen boosting effect that you could get from ascorbic acid, provided it would be a properly formulated 
But vitamin C can also like niacinamide, like ubiquinone, like glutathione, like any of these topical antioxidants. It offers the potential to ward off oxidative stress. It's damaging to proteins and lipids in your skin. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap this vlog up. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and that you're having a great day, afternoon night, weekend, whatever. Uh, if you enjoyed this vlog, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.